Welcome to Building with Bits, I'm Chris Secco, and today we're going to be using two very intricate mods, Chisel and Bits, alongside the Little Tiles mod, to create an awesome modern house style build. Firstly, we open Well Painter, then taking our brush tool, we raise a relatively large mountainous island from the bottom of the ocean. Opening our 3D viewing panel to get a better look, we then start brushing the peaks of the mountain with a rocky mixture consisting mainly of stone, with accents of granite, diorite, andesite, and gravel to achieve that Minecraft look. Since mountains form from the rock which is slowly pushed upwards by enormous tectonic pressures, we are looking to mimic the same formations we would see on a normal mountain, making sure to pay close attention to where the peaks of the mountain drop off to create natural ridges where the peaks almost look like they're protruding out of the ground. Next, we need to decide on our flora. To keep things simple, we decide to use a mix of fir trees, since they largely resemble overgrown spruce trees in Minecraft, they should work well. Then making sure to cover only the grassy areas, we brush on our trees. This should finally result in a naturally seated forest tightly cuddling a mountain island. And that is exactly what we get. With a perfect location ready and waiting, we get started on the first of two larger sections, constructing a frame and then laying out the groundwork for the next part of the build. Unfortunately, the sun persisted on doing its thing, no matter how much I told it not to. Please feel free to tell me what I'm doing wrong here down in the comments, I seriously couldn't figure it out. Anyway, filling in all the blocks on the first segment, we then start laying down the framework for the second. This building sits over the top of the first, creating a stepping effect, adding in two smaller buildings just below to emphasise that step, then finally adding in the base of the giant wind turbine. My theme for this build is a mix between smooth curves and sharp edges. Both design philosophies work really well with modern style builds, but combining them together has proved to be a bit more of a challenge, and you can see me here using Chisel and Bits mod to add in those smooth curves that we're looking for. Next we start work on the sharp edges. When you're only working on one block, this mod has a really cool copy and paste feature, allowing you to simply select the block you just modified, which then gets placed onto your hotbar, so you can then just place it like a normal block. This simplicity makes working on larger builds so much easier, even if it's still a lot of work. Getting our camera right in there, you can see just how much detail we can create. Seamless angled windows would have been impossible beforehand, but now we can use those angles and details to bring out much more of a defined and interconnected feeling to the entire build. I also had a really cool idea for an Edison power wall to be built at the bottom of the wind turbine. And yeah, it took a while, but it was definitely worth the effort. While I felt it was coming along well, the walls did kind of scream a little empty at me. So I decided to add some metal bars or support struts running along the lengths, making the sides of the buildings pop out with a bit more definition. Then finally coming around to finish off the main tower structure for the wind turbine. Remembering the fact we actually wanted a way to move between the floors, we added this small shaft at the back to house the staircase. It seems I got distracted by all the cool temple designs I was thinking about while building this, still, it serves its purpose. Now, by far the hardest part of this build was constructing this walkway. Beginning at almost the far end of the first building, it connects the whole build together. Slatted wood decking with added guardrails just adds so much detail to the overall design, and even makes the whole thing look a bit picturesque. While a lot of this I was able to copy and paste, I also had to hand place a fair few blocks in between, and even framed out the doors to make them more defined adding in a further second balcony underneath to connect what will eventually be the art gallery. <laughs> now we get to the real reason this walkway took me so long to build, the stairs. Now, I wanted to make each step even while also maintaining a seamless appearance between the stairs and the walkway, which certainly took a while. After that, it was pretty much plain sailing. 
just using the same copy and pasted blocks and then filling in any final touches. Then, after adding a border around all of the windows for an extra layer of definition, we move on to some internal design. Starting with the TV, obviously. Nice and big with a sofa in front and a huge open plan dining area complete with glass top table and chairs. You know, for all those fancy dinner parties. Actually, I did most of the internal decorations off camera since getting decent shots in awkward tight spaces is nigh on impossible, but here's a little sneak peek before we do the tour. And here we have our finished modern house, quaint and nestled within its surroundings. Well, minus that gigantic wind turbine, obviously. Let's finish with that, actually. Firstly, let's take a look around the top floor through this temple-themed door on the roof. And yep, it opens. Using the miraculous powers granted to me by the Little Tiles mod, every single door in this build is actually openable. Starting off the tour with the pool table, you know, because that's blatantly going to be the first thing I show anybody coming around my house. Well, if I had one, that is. Next, here's the bedroom. I forgot to show it, but the little tiles mod also adds the ability to make usable furniture. So you could actually sleep in that bed if you wanted to. Then, a bunch more detail in the bathroom, toilet, shower, you know, all that good stuff. Got a beautiful wooden walkway leading down to the living area, invited in by some cute potted plants and even a nice entrance mat to wipe my feet on. More little tiles magic with the doors opening into the front room slash dining room and straight through to the kitchen area, which, oh my god, it took me so long to do all of this. Like, ah, uh, seriously. But all of the cupboards, they open. The trash can, that pulls out. The oven, the furnace opens to give you access. There's even a fridge with stuff in. Ugh, man, the detail you can go into with these mods is just too deep. Ugh, I love it. Penultimately, we have the art gallery, because, you know, your multi-million pound modern house ain't gonna be complete without an art gallery, obviously. All the paintings you see around the house are here, a couple extra, plus this. Wasn't expecting that, was we? This way you can have all of your riches stored away safely in your art gallery, and it just works so seamlessly. I love these mods, they're amazing. So yeah, if you haven't, definitely check out both Chisel and Bits and the Little Tiles mods. And before you go, clearly you guys want to see a spinning wind turbine, so... There we go.